वो जो टाइटल से इतना सा रह गए ना वो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट कि इस बार ना वो बहुत टाइम हो चुका है वो टाइटल नहीं आया वी एन्जॉय द कम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ इट ड्राफ्ट Drafts, there's a set order. You get your pick. There's no one competing with you when you have your pick. It's a bit boring, really. Uh, whereas the auction has uncertainty, complexity, more game theory involved. Um, so we we really enjoy it as a as a structure and a setup. And yeah, when you have less purse, it's obviously a little bit more challenging because you can get pushed off players. But uh, we're up for the challenge and looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> For me, it is two batsmen, two bowlers to be on a safer set. So at least that is a flexible two bowlers, domestic one. That's very important. No, no that, in addition, to, I'm saying, saying only the overseas we are discussing. So I'm saying two overseas by which is. Jack's Pereira type. So if I'm going with four overseas, he doesn't fit in my first eleven, so it doesn't make sense for me. It is either I go with a proper bowler or a proper batsman, because of the super sub helps, right? I don't need to have that extra over. So in Rajas a lot, Toby, you can only get that if he's gone unsold. So now we have listed out a few names. What are we agreeing on as to our buys? Because we can't go in there. I would have the conversation there. Yeah, I would bid on Jack first. He comes up first, lock in the value, then get Pereira. Is one, but we don't need. We take two by two bowl. No, uh, then then we are comfortable passing up on everybody in that in that all rounder lot. Whether it's uh, Sans. Sans or even Sans. Uh, Sans is an interesting option. I think forget the base because okay. because you've got thirteen point two crores. Okay. So in this worst case scenario, you're gonna have cash available for that role. Okay. Like Sans's base is what? Fifty. So what are four bowls? Four overseas. You got Meredith. Sans. Ferreira. Jackson Ferreira. Jacks. Or Ferreira, Raza, one of the two. So, so let's just go back to the. So that's the worst case scenario. In the good scenario, we get broke. A year ago, when we did this, we made a commitment to being informed by data, right? And we saw that in that early auction, we have very good ability to navigate. We have to make a really good understanding of whether we are still committed to it or not. Because if we can't go back, it's very simple to me. If we are getting results, the only time we have to talk cricket, I would say, is that if there are data doesn't show anything, or guys are so close we make a call on it. That's fine. Best case scenario for if we get look, no one. <laughs> Just taking Krishna's attention. You know, in a big auction, it's absolutely crucial. In a mini auction as well, but at the same time. Uh, you know, if players are very similar on data, we've got to make cricket-based calls as to the best fit for our side. But that entire process to be led and informed by data is really crucial because that's a something that, as a franchise, we've committed to, and we've got to keep our discipline and our focus on that. Hi, Kumar. Uh, good luck this morning. Um, yeah, it's great that we're going into the auction, needing so few players. Yeah. Uh, which says a lot about the quality of the job he did last year. Yeah, that does. I mean, that, that's, that's a, a great place to be. We look pretty well prepared, so... Um, I'll be in Jake's here, but uh, shout if you need anything. And best of luck, and let's hope we get our targets. Thanks, Manoj. We'll keep in touch during great. Geared up now, slightly anxious now, two minutes before kickoff. I've got my uh, spreadsheet, my data, my numbers, and I've got Jake in the AirPods. I think Super Royals is the best uh, you know, fan program that I've ever seen, not just in cricket or in IPL, across sports. And uh, we're sitting here enjoying the auction. Even uh, last year, we screening hui thi and we also went uh, uh, for the final and a couple of games in Mumbai, and uh, we went. You know, there are regular calls to the management, to the players. Uh, we have an annual call with Sanju Samson as well. Aran has set a benchmark set ke and, and I believe that the rest of franchises should be coffee, nahi, but we should do something for the fans. And uh, number two from England, Harry Brook. Number two. Right, focus Harry on this. Harry Brook. Uh, and yeah. it's what I'm going to think about for Harry Brook. Oh boy, we're going head to head with RCB. Jake, slow the paddle. Slow the paddle. Should we slow the paddle a bit? I mean, RCB will take us up to six crores, right? One tactic here could be to uh, come out of the bidding, let someone else bid, 
and then come back in, Jake. This is where the auction is quite stressful. 625 black is the bit on the road, 625. Getting expensive now. I like the smiling as well. <laughs> They'll be thinking we're not going to spend that amount on one player. Last time. So that was disappointing. We missed uh, Harry Brook and uh, obviously we went pretty hard. And the one team that we didn't want to compete with for Harry Brook was Sunrise's Hyderabad because they've got three times as much money to spend as we have. So wish Harry all the best at Sunrise's Hyderabad. He's a rare talent and uh, he's going to do very well in the IPL. And let's just hope he remembers that we, we bid him all the way up so he doesn't score too many against us. The main target I think should be of Sikandar Raza or Jason Holder. Manish Pandey is also a good option and in terms of bowling, I think uh, we have a good bowling lineup. The main focus should be on the all-rounders basically. We did consider Joe Root actually. Um, the issue is he's come out too early in the auction, so we need to kind of keep our powder dry now for the all-rounder. So we'll hope that he's not bid and then we might look at him and in the unsold at the end. The IPL auction, one of the greatest batsmen that's ever lived, goes unsold. Okay, this is annoying. We've got now CSK going to go hard with us on Jason Holder. Got him! You got him! Fantastic cricketer, and he's a fantastic uh, human being as well. So excited! We couldn't wait for Stokesy, uh, even though you'd obviously love Stokesy in your side. In terms of how we do our, how we set up our sides, we look at anyone who starts in the first eleven, how and if they make our side better than the first eleven we put on the park last year. And uh, there were a few players who did make it better. Uh, we missed out on one of them in Harry Brook, but we got the other one in terms of Holder. So the only two left who can fit our role when he was his career at Russo. That's it. I think Vashish. No, no, Vashish, we are, we are doing that. I'm saying apart from that. Because we were talking about experience. Yeah. Yes, experience, but then Amri Bosa's experience with the highest right kick that comes. The only thing that's stopping us from getting it is the overseas number of slots for everybody. Yeah, but we're going to find out before break, before we go back in. Oh, okay. Okay. So they've also got some Indians to buy them. They come. They will know. Fascist comes in now. We see both of them. He's not in now. But in case he comes in, yeah, 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 experience was, was, was incredible. Uh, it's such a dynamic room, things change on the fly, you have to be flexible, you have to adapt, uh, and sometimes the, be the best laid plans uh, go awry. So 
uh, for us, it was uh, important to keep our discipline and our focus on what we wanted in terms of our squad build-up, and we managed to do a very good job. We've got to build enough flexibility with the impact player rule and with our backups to ensure that we cover our bases and endeavour to put, at all times, the best possible 11 on the field to win games, and that's what we're going to look at. Yeah, it's good. Again, when there's so much money in the room, you can't always get everyone you want, but very happy. Um, some really good Indian talent as well that people may have not seen yet. Um, um, a few debutants for the IPL as well, and Joe Root's first time out here, so we get to see how he gets off. Uh, but yeah, I think we're a bit tired, it's been a long day. Uh, we had a big gap in the middle with nothing, and then six buys at the end, and Jeep the master on the paddle. Um, so yeah, smiling away as well. Yeah, fantastic. This Jeep's uh, entire tuition for me was fantastic. It was free of cost, so it was really... We didn't have much work, but it seemed as if we had more work than last year. The amount of conversation, Sangha, and Jee connected with the Good luck. Hope we do well. Thanks. Wanna go away?